guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the iPhone 10, And this is really exciting, even though this phone is not mine, it's not mine at all. I still have my iPhone 8 Plus, which is still a great phone. This is my dad's. He had the iPhone SE for the longest time, and he thought it was time for an upgrade. We did buy this second hand, so this doesn't have the original like packaging, like some of the things have been opened, like the the earphones and the cable was loose and everything but the phone is in great condition the person just didn't want the iPhone 10 they were not a big Apple fan but yeah so this is an unboxing of the iPhone 10 so yeah like I said we did buy the second hand on Gumtree and yeah we got a really really good deal on this or shall I say my dad got a really good deal on this and it's deals like this that make getting these things so worth it and also, like I said, he had the iPhone SE, and he was the biggest Apple fan of all of us at the beginning, and we all kind of transitioned to Apple from Samsung. Again, not saying Samsung's bad, I'm just saying we prefer Apple. And yeah, so he made the, he was kind of the one who actually won the Apple, and then we kind of switched over to that. So yeah, he saw the deal on Gumtree. He he contacted her again very important meet face to face and they did the deal and he got the iPhone 10 so yeah he transitioned from the iPhone SE to the iPhone 10 which is not just a big transition in size but also in specs so yeah let's roll the clip of the unboxing so yeah here you see the box of the phone and like I've said before this is bought secondhand so you won't see plastic wrapping over the phone or the box or and some of the things have been opened like the earphones and everything so first thing you see you have all these paperwork things that you always get like the sim card opener key whatever you have the quick start guide in I think French so yeah you have that and uh, <laughs> these are just so pretty I know I love the graphic of Apple she was kind enough the person we bought it from to give us the stickers then you have the quick start guide again in english and then you have it in a different language which i do not know which it what it is but yeah then i took out the front of the box i did have some trouble seeing so the elastic like the plastic that's usually around the phone when you get it was off so i didn't really have an easy tab to pull it out with so yeah, i had some problems there but this is the phone in silver the camera that is now vertical and you know all the new things with the iphone 10 which just makes it so unique and special and pretty and you see the normal thing you see every time you get a new phone all the different hellos in different languages and then all the settings you have to set up to set up your new phone so yeah i wasn't gonna do that this is my dad's phone so he gets to do that but yeah here you'll see the earphones i tried to put it back in its box as neatly as i could failed miserably i do not know how people know how to do that then the cable again already opened but yeah try to put it back in the box again failed and we have the charging brick which has the south african plug on it obviously but yeah so basically that is the unboxing for the iphone 10 all the things you normally have in unboxing for apple products and yeah let's get into the rest of the video so yeah that was the unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it again like i said before everything was already opened but it's fine it's really it's not that big of a deal so yeah here is the iphone 10 as you can see this is in the silver i know a lot of people love the silver it's like i think the popular most popular color i'm not quite sure i could be wrong but yeah, I'm not a big fan of the silver. I mean, it's it's nice and everything. I just prefer the space gray. And I my iPhone 8 Plus is a space gray. I just really prefer that more, especially with the iPhone 10. But I mean, if you get a good deal for the iPhone 10, you're not really going to worry about the color that much. Especially not if you're just going to use it and put a cover over it. Because you don't want this thing to fall and break. So yeah, this is the iPhone 10 silver. And I mean... It's a nice phone. I wish I could have gotten this deal. I mean, it was a great deal and it's just a very, very nice phone. So yeah, it's so, so nice. And let me just talk about when I was using this, what my experience was, just like for the first time. I mean, obviously it's my dad's phone. I'm not gonna be using it daily. But yeah, my first thoughts when I used the phone and 
the new things you have to do, like to open a, or close an app and things like that. I'm just going to be showing you guys my experience for a little bit of that I've used the phone. Okay, so first thing, biggest thing that people complained about, which is the notch. The notch, I mean, when you use it, you recognize it, but it didn't bother me at all. I mean, I realized it because I wasn't used to it yet, but obviously it's just something you get used to. After a while, you won't even recognize it. So yeah, I mean... The notch, I saw it, but it was really not that big of a deal for me at all. It's just something you get used to and you have to get over it. As for some of the other features like swiping up to get out of an app or to unlock your phone, I mean, that's fine. I It's actually much easier than just to push a button. I mean, just swipe up. It's super easy. No problems there. And I mean, the control center and everything, again, learning curve, but something you get used to. and. It's not that big of a deal at all. Face ID, I've not really used it much. I know my dad has and I, it works. I mean, sometimes I guess it could be slower. I don't know. I mean, after a while, I think you get used to just like swiping up. I think you get faster the more you get used to it. So yeah, again, everything on this phone is kind of just like a learning curve that you have to get over and then you have it. I mean, it's such a great phone. It has great specs. I love the wallpapers for the iPhone 10. And everything about it is just super nice. I love the display, how it goes from corner to corner, the notch. I mean, I love the way the things are at the top of the screen. And yeah, really, guys, it's not that big of a deal. All these things you have to get used to, it's super easy. I mean, it's just a normal thing you have to get used to. People got used to touch screens. Why can't we just get over a simple notch? So yeah, I love the phone itself it looks great it has amazing features it has new features learning curves again but it's so great I mean I love it my favorite things that when I saw it at the launch I that really made me want to get the phone and it's probably just stupid that that was my kind of decision making but it's the N emojis I mean guys these are so cool I love them they're they're so unique and I don't know, it's just something about them which is so cute and I love them and yeah, so these are one of my favorite features about the iPhone 10. I mean, you gotta admit, this is pretty cool. So I have the iPhone 8 Plus and this is the 10, so basically it is smaller, like screen kind of is narrower and the body is smaller, but screen is bigger like in height. So yeah, it really, it's not a big problem. I love the size. Actually, this is actually perfect for me because I don't have big hands. So this is actually a perfect size for me. I wish I could have this because sometimes it feels like my iPhone 8 Plus is a little too big. I did have the iPhone 7. And yeah, so this is kind of like a perfect fit for me. I actually really love the size of it. Okay, so my overall thought about this phone, it's amazing. I love it. It's so nice. I mean, obviously... This is kind of like, you have to get used to the phone and you have to use it daily to actually have a kind of a review. And seeing this is not my phone, I, I'm not going to be able to like tell you guys my experience of it every day. But from what I've used it, it's so great and I really, really just love the phone. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the iPhone 10. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it interesting. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you would love to have an iPhone 10, because I know I would, but yeah, pricing, you know. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon down here. Click up on the playlist up here to see all of my other tech videos. And click down here to see my previously uploaded video. Be weird and be private. Love you guys so much. Bye.